rascal. I need you to not bark for about 10 minutes. You think you can handle that? There's been a rodent invasion out here in the workshop. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday, February 18th. I'm Jen Crevasi, your hostess with the mostess, and this is your Monday workshop update right here at Jekyll Bates. Yep, that is a Johnny Rat. It's a custom repaint for a client, and it's an awesome, awesome bait. It's, um, it's a pricey bait. Hiroshima Customs um, and Johnny Rat, the Johnny Rat Company. And this one was the 2018 Pearl Edition. So it was an easy, well, not an easy repaint, but it was a, an easier repaint to do versus uh, some of the stuff that's already got paint on it. Um, pretty much a clean slate with those pearls. So I'll show you all about that, but let's get started back here. I want to show you guys, let's see if we can keep all this pro boxing from a little bit about warts. It's just a classic red crawl. But beautiful and deadly this time of year. If you want, uh, if you want some effective fishing, now would certainly be the time to use red in the water all over the South. All over, I don't care if you're in Texas, Arkansas, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida. Red is wicked, wicked good color right now. But this is just one of those old red craws. It's got a lot of copper glitter in the top, a lot of speckling, um, real natural. And um, hey, it'll do it for sure. We'll set that over there. Mike McClellan, you make a darn fine rock crawler. These are the Spros. These are not knockoffs. I do not, do not use knockoffs. Uh, these are the real deal. I have changed out the eyes at the behest of my customer. Uh, they come with real tiny little um, like five millimeter half eyes and they're usually red. I like to change it up every once in a while and the eyes are not secure in the uh they're not glued down very well in the, in the rock crawlers this is that mid-south crawl you can see the veining in blue i always encourage you guys to goof around with colors um i think i mentioned richie uh the other day sending me that blue and green so that is one of the reasons that this color can be super effective because this actually mimics what the craws look like. And we've got a few of those. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of orders for, these are all outgoings, um, a lot of orders for these guys. I'll show it to you in this 1.5 deep diver. This is the 1.5 body and a square bill, but it's not a square bill. It's that mid depth. These have just come off the clear coat rack. great color this time of year as well. Common Gilly, not the Gilly Gilly. This is the Common Gilly. It's a, it's a little bit more brown, just a hint of that plum up top, some pearlescence, those traditional red edged sunfish eyes. You've got that ear flap on the side, a little blue on the gill plate, and that orange blush belly fading back. Your common gilly. Something a little bit different. I love to play with colors. Um, I don't often get the opportunity, especially this time of year. Um, that, that board, you'll see it change, but it stays pretty full. So lots of stuff going on always on a pre-season, well, pre-tournament season rush. This a little bit of fluorescent orange on the throat and belly in an under layer. And you can see how the layering really, really looks sharp. And uh, the under layers are fluorescent orange on this side. And I just did black. So basically I sprayed two base layers 
on this bait. I sprayed orange in the front, black in the back, and on the belly. And you can see that transition because you can see the real dark veining on the back of this bait. And the scaling, working around, working with scaling technique right now just to try and give the a two-dimensional bait some texture, give it almost like a 3D effect. And I always work on that because I love the way this effect looks. It really makes that bait look natural. And then those fluorescent glow green UV glow eyes that light up in the dark. Super cool on those. Hey, you guys are noticing I'm wearing the black gloves. I've seen other people uh, recently wearing these black gloves and they fit. This is the first time that I've had gloves that actually are doing the hand, the size of my hand justice. Real happy with that. And a wart. Mid-South. And obviously those painted eyes. Do a base spray at a real low pressure for the black. Then just dab a pure white opaque with a Q-tip and then add whatever color pupil you want. Red has a tendency to work very well with these. And now we get to the cool stuff. Rats. This is the rat runner off of my website. This is the gray rat runner version with that six inch tail that I've cut about an inch off just so that it, it works a little bit better with these tails. Um, it's sort of a unique approach. I, I haven't seen a whole lot, if anybody else, do it completely like this with this extra wide worm hook on the, this is a three yacht on the back. Uh, I don't have this in because these are going to customers and I did, I am gonna show you on one how it needs to be rigged up when it's going out the door. Um, Lots and lots and lots of fish caught on this pattern. So these these little rat patterns are super effective. They work all times of the year because rats swim on the surface and fish eat the uh, fish eat rats and mice and everything else that they're opportunistic fish. So if it looks like it is, looks like a rat, they're gonna get eaten. The other gray, and then I'm gonna show you on this. This is the brown version. This is also going out. And I have this one through, and we're gonna set it right next to this Johnny rat here real quick. So I have it through, but I don't have it, you know, like if you were to Texas rig these things, um, you would go ahead and kind of texpose the end of this. It does not swim as effectively as if you do it just like this. So if you run this worm just through this hook and let that hook barb stick up like that it's going to swim right you have to use a floating worm if you're going to put these things together uh, you have to use the floating worm you don't want your you don't want your worm to like hang down in the water it needs to float so make sure that whatever worm you choose the zoom trick worms are pretty good uh, just make sure that it it's a floater and I know you guys want to see this. This is going to be the last piece that I show you guys today. This is the Johnny Rat. Let's see if we can get a, a good shot on. There we go. I did some little extracurricular activities here. I, I, I did some hand cut stencils with the feet. So you've got the, the feet. We've got some little stenciled ears, and those ears sit right back off of the top of this. It absolutely looks like fur. It absolutely looks like a rat. Um, first of all, I'm working with a great product. These Johnny Rats are phenomenal. They're really good. Um, they're hand handmade. They're expensive as all get out. I'm not gonna give you a price, but you can look up the price at Tackle Warehouse. Now these, this was a pearl, so it was a completely white bait, and I went ahead and did sort of like a, a red, almost like a wounded red fading into black on the insides, just so that when this is swimming through the water, it looks like something that ha has been wounded already. 
and then there um, the, the client asked for a pink belly so we gave a pink belly to this and there is your Johnny rat and that's what we got for you today ran about ten and a half minutes which is pretty much where I like it to run I hope you guys have a fantastic week think spring think top water that bite is right around the corner you guys we'll see you soon happy casting Cheers.